Use the three-minute test to establish your current aerobic capacity, your maximum minute power and heart rate training zones. This test will also estimate your VO2 max. Your VO2 max is a measure of the maximum volume of oxygen that an athlete can use. It is measured in milliliters per kilogram of body weight per minute. You're going to need a watt bike and a heart rate monitor to complete your three-minute test. Log in and link up your heart rate monitor to the watt bike performance monitor. Begin with a 10 to 20 minute low to moderate intensity of around 70 to 90 RPM, including two six second sprint efforts. The idea is to make sure you're adequately warmed up for a high intensity training session without causing fatigue. It's important to use and practice the warm up so your body adapts to the routine. The resistance level and cadence you use for this warm-up routine depends on your maximum minute power result and your cadence preference. You can find out more about how to warm up on our website or at the link below this video. From the main menu, select Workouts slash Test, then press Enter. Then select Tests, press Enter. Select 3-minute aerobic, press Enter. Set the air resistance lever to the required level. From a static starting position, pedal in a seated position at a cadence that can be maintained for three minutes. We recommend 90 to 110 RPM. The idea of this test is to achieve as high a power output as possible without a drop in performance throughout the three minutes. The review screen will show you all of your performance data, including predicted VO2 max, METs, the ratio of the work metabolic rate to the resting metabolic rate, or oxygen uptake, and training zones. You can then access this data through your user account. The test can be done at the start of a season and the start of post-season to gauge your current levels, or generally every six months. Whilst the tables show all the air resistance settings from 1 to 10, it is anticipated that for most people, the most effective setting will be in resistance range 1 to 5 on the Watt Bike Pro and the full range of air resistance settings available on the Watt Bike Trainer. After completing the test, the Watt Bike Performance Monitor displays your maximum minute power, maximum heart rate, and your training zones. Take a look at our training zones video to understand what these mean. Click here to get more from your Watt Bike.